Dear friends in Christ, greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I wish to use this opportunity to thank my friend and brother, Farah Chrysanthus Uwebu, for this opportunity given to me to be listened to on this topic, the power of the Holy Rosary. As we all know, we are in the month of October devotion, the month in which we say the Rosary daily, the month in which we profess our faith, the month in which we all call on our Blessed Mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, to intercede for us. Though actually October, as we all know, is the month of St. Joseph, husband of Mary, we have come a long way to know that Rosary is a weapon with which we fight the unforeseen powers around us. As we all know, it's not everyone that do say the rosary. It's not everyone that goes about their normal businesses with their rosary. It's not everyone that is bold enough to tell you that he or she is proud of his or her rosary. When we were growing up, there are people who normally say that rosary are for children because children are known for block rosary. They go to their block rosary centers and say their rosaries and go back to their different families, different houses, different homes. I could remember then when we were growing up, after saying our rosary, we normally sing a song that goes this way. Oh, come to the throne of grace. Oh, come to the heart most pure. I wish to draw my attention to each and every one of us here that we cannot say the rosary meditatively. We cannot say the rosary without our heart being pure. If our heart is not pure, we are saying the rosary just to fulfill our righteousness. But if our heart is pure, I want to assure you that the rosary which we are saying, which we are praying, is so powerful and is so effective. Because once our heart is pure, there is nothing we ask through the rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary that we cannot get. If our heart is pure, it will help us to overcome so many temptations coming our way. If our heart is pure, we can finish saying the rosary even if it's five decades without having a distraction, without sleeping on the way, because it has always been the nature that whenever we start saying the rosary, maybe on our own, not on a social gathering, we sleep off. Then on waking up, we see that our rosary is one mile and we are snoring one mile. 
to tell us the power of this rosary. Our enemies, the battles, the unforeseen battles, the principalities and powers facing us in this world, we never allow us to say the rosary because rose, rosary is a great weapon with which we fight those principalities and powers. Whenever we say the rosary too, we reflect, we reflect and meditate on the mysteries of Christ. We have the luminous mysteries, we have the joyful mysteries, we have the sorrowful mysteries, we have the glorious mysteries. In these mysteries, we see the lives and everything concerning our Savior, Jesus Christ. We cannot meditate on these mysteries if our heart is not pure. We cannot reflect on these mysteries if we do not pay attention to our rosary. If we are distracted, we cannot concentrate. There are some who would option that for them, reading the Bible is preferable to saying the rosary. Because once they start saying the rosary, they might not finish that rosary. And we can testify that in our own private lives, whenever we decide to say the rosary on our own, without any person giving us prayer, topic, be it maybe we have gone for prayers in different prayer houses, they have given us a list of prayers to do, pray this psalm, say this rosary, do this, do that. On our own accord, if we decide to say the rosary on our own, I wish to let us know it is never easy and it can never be easy unless we have developed such as a habit of saying the rosary daily. If we continue to say the rosary, let us remember that there are promises of our Blessed Virgin Mary, our Mother, Mother of God, promised to those saying the rosary. As we all know, rosary is a great weapon. Whenever we say the rosary, we are calling our Blessed Virgin Mary to come and intercede for us, to come and intervene on our behalf. And there are no requests we ask through the rosary that we cannot get unless our heart is not pure. Dear friends in Christ, let us try our best to make sure that our heart is pure whenever we want to say this rosary. Some people would also tell you that every day they say 20 decades, every day they say 40 decades, every day they say 100 decades. I want to assure you that the prayer with which you say with a pure heart is more powerful than the one you say just to fulfill all righteousness or just to make boasts of yourself or just to be proud of yourself. That prayer say with a pure heart is more powerful. So for your rosary to be powerful, for you to see the effectiveness of this rosary, you must make your heart pure. And we know how to make our heart pure. We know how to make everything possible. 
But the problem is, we hardly tell ourselves the truth. If we can avail ourselves the opportunity of going for confessions for Catholics, of confessing our sins, of making our hearts pure, I want to let us know that the rosary we say is so powerful. Ask anything through the rosary and you will see the intervention of our Blessed Mother, Virgin Mary. Talking about the power of this rosary, I am a living witness because in the year 2018, I really testified the power of this rosary. And there are so many people who testified such too. Everywhere I go, I go about with my rosary. As I'm going along with my phone, I go along with my rosary. Everywhere, anywhere, I don't forget my rosary. But there are times we say our phone is more precious than rosary. Therefore, we take our phone and forget our rosary. Dear friends in Christ, I want to let us know that rosary is more precious than any gadget we can think of. When we go about our when we go about with our rosary, about our businesses, any other anything at all with our rosary, I want to assure us that we are carrying the weapon with which we fight the unforeseen powers. Some people have the courage to say the rosary wherever they are, whenever they are alone, because we believe that an idle mind is a devil's workshop. Whenever we are alone, we think so many things. And some people use the rosary to quench every thought, to quench everything that will lead them into temptation. Some people, while in their shops, you will see them saying the rosary because they are alone. Some people, while in the offices, you will see them saying the rosary because they are alone. They know the power of this rosary. That's why they are using the power to quench that devil's workshop. Dear friends in Christ, if we are opportuned wherever we are to say the rosary, let us not be ashamed to pray the rosary. Let us not be ashamed to testify the power of this rosary. Let us not be afraid to proclaim the kingdom of God because we are also reflecting and meditating on the mysteries of Christ. Dear friends in Christ, try saying the rosary with and in a pure heart and live to testify the effectiveness and the power of this holy rosary. The effectiveness or the power of this holy rosary is more better experienced than talked about. It is more practical than theoretical. So let us join hands wherever we are. Let us join hands to make our hearts pure so that the rosary we pray always, more especially in this month of October, will be more effective and more powerful to help us fight the unforeseen battles around us. Dear friends in Christ, let us be proud of our rosary. Wherever we are, are we driving? 
Are we in our office? Are we in our business places? Are we in our working places? Wherever we are, let us not avoid this rosary. Let us not avoid this power that will help us to fight the unforeseen battles, unforeseen prosperities and powers around us. Let us call on our blessed mother to intervene and intercede for us on our intentions. With the rosary, we can change so many things through the motherly care, motherly intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Through this rosary, we can change the unchangeable. Through this rosary, we can help in the situation in our country. We can help to bring back peace in our country. We can help to bring back unity in our country. We can help to bring back prosperity in our country. If we can look around, we see that the young ones, our children, they are no more interested in the things of God because they have seen that money can do anything. But I want to promise you that money cannot do everything. Money can do anything, but money can never buy your life. We can buy our life through the power of this rosary. We can save our life through the power of this rosary. Our youth do not value this rosary anymore. Hardly you see them in the broad rosary. Hardly you see them carrying their rosary around. You always, you will always see them carrying their phones. You see somebody in JS1 carrying a mighty phone, but you will never see that person carrying his or her rosary to tell you the generation in which we are now. They value other things more than the things of God. With this rosary, for those who are praying it with a pure heart, we can change so many things in the face of this world.